Steve Lee is bringing his propaganda mission into Canadian schools, school by school. He's going through the schools, having unfettered access to school children, no parental consent, no other opinions to rebut him. He's crazy, and he's coming with the I'm here to heal you with global warming, semi-religious BS talk. It's being allowed into the schools. Here's a story by David Staples. Oil and gas and cattle industries under fire at Canadian schools. The Canadian oil and gas and cattle industries are under fire at schools across Canada. Climate activist Steve Lee is taking aim at fossil fuel and meat consumption as part of his crusade to turn students into fellow activists. Lee's crusade, known as the 3% Project, is funded in part by green groups like Environmental Defense and Equiterre, which are part of the ongoing campaign to landlock Alberta oil backed by major U.S. foundations. Good for Staples. He says that Lee refuses to do an interview with him, of course. Uh, so Staples publishes his interview questions to the world, questions he would ask Lee if Lee could answer them. Here's some of them. Do you want to landlock the oil sands? Are you aware that if we can't export Canadian oil, this will have no impact on climate change as world demand will, demand will be met by the United States, as well as by various dictatorships with atrocious human and women's rights? Are you aware that fossil fuel use is the main driver that has pulled billions of people out of poverty and into prosperity? You warn of a possible apocalypse and have said that we burn greenhouse gases into the atmosphere so much that it's equivalent to 400,000 Hiroshima atomic bombs blowing up into the atmosphere every single day. That's an insane amount of energy. Apocalypse? Hiroshima? Why use such fearsome and unrelated imagery to describe fossil fuel use? Those are just a few of his questions. They're good points. But the bigger point is, why, why is an anti-oil lobbyist, why is any lobbyist being given unfettered, unfiltered access to minor children without parental consent? That's how Staples ends his column. He, he makes a really good point. He says, in the end, some might well ask, why should Lee be granted any access to impressionable young minds on our public schools? To that, I'd simply ask, isn't it best that young people be exposed to many viewpoints on numerous topics? Of course, if Lee is given this platform at schools, there's a moral and educational imperative to give equal access to resource and industry groups to present their case. The most productive response here is to counter bad ideas and information with good ideas and better information. Right, that's a good journalistic point of view. That's a pro-debate point of view. David Staples knows his stuff. But, it, but again, where's the government here? Where's this $30 million war room? Because these are mainly government schools, right? So why is the government school that is operating in loco parentis? That's the law speak. That's Latin for in the place of parents. When you give your kid to a school, they have a fiduciary duty to take care of your kids in your place. Why are schools letting in a lobbyist into these government schools and giving access to your kids? Is it because some local activist teacher or some teacher's union is anti-oil and, and lets them in? Well, they don't have constitutional control over the schools. The province does, the provincial government. Jason Kenney as premier does. Isn't this something that a war room should fight against? If you're having trouble understanding this, how would you feel if another kind of lobbyist wanted to recruit young children to his cause in the schools, on school time, without parental consent? How about a lobbyist for Exxon? How about a tobacco lobbyist? How about a foreign diplomat lobbying, say, for Iran's dictatorship or Cuba? As in, why is a lobbyist allowed in at all? Why doesn't Jason Kenney or his education minister simply ban such lobbyists, especially weird, know-nothing, working for the Green Lobby, UN lobbyists like this Steve Lee? Why not just ban them and tell any schools it's against policy to let them in? And that if they want government funding, if they want uh, independent management control by principals and superintendents, they better abide by the rule. And if not, they'll be cut off or fired or replaced or whatever. That's an excerpt from The Ezra Levant Show, which is a show I do every day. I do a monologue, interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at premium.rebelnews.com.